Hey there, we're gonna start printmaking unit. I'm excited, I think that you'll have a lot of fun doing it. The deal with printmaking in this class though is we have a lot of people, a lot of supplies, we have a lot of procedures. And so I'm gonna share with you the different procedures that we have so that we can have a great experience with our printmaking. To begin with, you will wanna take at least 10 notes that will be graded by me during this presentation. At the end of class, we will also have a think tank competition with your team to see which team remembers the most details about this video and the printmaking information in general. In order to have the most effective use of our time, I've set out these procedures, not to tell you what to do or anything like that, but to make sure you have the most time possible to create while also being able to clean up after yourself and organize your art materials to make sure that they are well taken care of. First of all, we need to fill some volunteer positions. We will need, and we will do this after the video, we will um, figure out who will do what. We'll write it on the whiteboard to re remember it. Um, we'll need two people to be drying rack helpers to help people put up their artwork on the drying rack. One person from each table to be responsible of their of the sink. One person from each table to be responsible of drying and organizing the things on the counter. Two people from each table to bring the tools, uh, the printmaking blocks to the sink so they can be washed and dried. And one person from each table to bring the wet towels to the table at the beginning of class and to return the wet towels after wiping the table. Each day, the first table that comes in gets all the printmaking supplies with the exclusion of the printmaking block and then begins their essential question and their focus drawings and is quiet, those people will have the opportunity to begin printing first. During the warm-up, I will call each table to see if there's anybody that wants to use the same block as yesterday and then once I go through all the tables to see if anyone wants the same block as the previous day, then we will call tables up to pick new blocks. We'll start with larger blocks until you get used to the whole printmaking thing, and then I will let you know when you can start using the smaller blocks. Um, tables um, that get cleaned up and are organized and just working very well together will be recognized for their teamwork. When you think about this printmaking project, think about it this way. We're gonna start simple, and then we're gonna build the complexity. We're gonna start with just white or black, you'll decide. We're gonna start with larger blocks. We're gonna build a foundation of pattern on your artwork, which will be your portfolio, and also your final artwork. Then as the days go by, we'll receive other colors and different size blocks. Okay, so let's take a second to look at some excellent printmaking work. Great job listening. I hope you're taking notes. Here we have a student that used white ink to create a pattern on the first day. Here, another student is using white ink on the first day, black on the second. Here, a student has created a pattern first with black ink, white on the second day. Here, a student has created a frame and then has emphasized the blue ink by putting it in the middle. Here, we have an excellent layout design. Here, a grid has been created with diamond shapes by using alternating spaces. And finally, multiple colors are used on this one. And here we have a final example of printmaking. Here we have a station that's organized and clean. You'll be using white and black today, more colors later. Here we have a bench hook, a brayer, and a journal laid out ready to go. This is our bench hook. See how it hooks onto the side of your table? There's four bench hooks for most tables, three for some. Here are our brayers, or a roller, but let's call it a brayer. Again, this is how we want to organize everything. After you're organized, you will select one large block and print with that today. After that, you will get to pick a small one, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Once I, once I tell you, you'll be able to pour out some ink. The ink can be white or black, but let's not mix it. You can share at your table. Okay. 
Please wait until I call your table to wash your hands. You will clean everything else first before washing your hands. You want to get everything put back the way it belongs, and then if you hear me call your table, then you will put your wet artwork on the drying rack. The people who are in charge of the drying rack will make sure to help you do that. Again, wait until I call you to put your artwork on the drying rack. Make sure you're pitching in and helping out. If you're not able to find something productive and positive to do, please have a seat and wait quietly. Think about wiping the table, organizing tools, assisting people, and being respectful, positive, and polite.